when I was a teenager, uh, about 17 years old. Um, my sister and I, with a number of friends, wrote an Opportunities for Youth grant, which was a special program by the first Trudeau government um, to give uh, young people uh, employment during the summer. You could do anything you wanted. There was no guidelines. What did you want to do for the summer? Um, so we put our heads together and came up with this idea to go to visit a community in northern Ontario in Horn Payne, which is north of Lake Superior in the middle of the bush. At that time it was a stop on the CN Rail and that's how we got there. A couple of them had been to a Quaker summer camp that I had gone to called Camp Nakanis on Georgian Bay. So that's sort of how we knew about that community and we spent the summer there. The purpose of the grant was to try to do some work up in the community. So we tried to think of things that would be helpful to them. So there were five youth, including myself, from downtown Toronto. And we had the opportunity to live in an Indian community. And they got to interact with people from downtown Toronto. So it was a sort of a cross-cultural experience. So the community was kind of on the edge of town. It was a small street with fairly modest frame homes, which they had built themselves. I was actually pretty impressed by the quality of the housing, but it was very simple and modest. There was um, outhouses um, and there was no running water except for two pumps in the community. So you went with like great big buckets and carried back great big buckets. So I can tell you, we were much more saving on our water use under those conditions than we were in downtown Toronto. There would have been the family that we were living with and their two children and then the three of us visitors. So it was a full house, but they welcomed us in uh, to their homes and we uh, you know, cooked dinner together and did chores together. And uh, during the day we worked with um, seven uh, youth, native youth in the community. We had planned a lot of activities, including building a playground. Um, and we ran a day camp for kids um, where we uh, made candles and did batik and paper mache and projects with the kids during the day. We had come up with some ideas uh, in downtown Toronto where most of the grant writing was done. It's remarkable how much the number of youth can do in a week. Because pretty much at the end of 10 days, we'd done just about everything we said we were going to do in the summer. <laughs> so we had to get more creative. Once we were up there, we tried to get the leadership to come from the youth that were there. What could we do that you would want us to do? So the first couple of weeks were pretty um, awkward, I guess. We're trying to get them to come up with the ideas and they're waiting for us to tell them what to do. So what they wanted us to do, which is kind of obvious, is to do jobs for old people, was one of them. So we dug out houses and chopped firewood and stacked firewood and things. On uh, Monday nights in the evenings, some of the elders would come and they would teach us and the other youth in the community how to do handicrafts including moccasins. So we enjoyed learning how to do their crafts and they were so excellent at doing them. And this is my finished product and this is their finished product was more like this moccasin here with beautiful beadwork and such lovely sewing of the material. Plus the other thing that's special about theirs is they were um, naturally smoked and all hand uh, tanned. So they have a really beautiful aroma. And they also took us for other experiences. We went berry picking. Uh, they took us on a fishing trip on the Shekak River. And then when we got home, uh, they had borrowed the boat and the fishing rods and the life jackets and everything. So we had to give um, fish for, to all the people we borrowed things. We didn't actually end up with any fish for ourselves. <laughs> they didn't actually know how the native people came to Horn Payne and they, they didn't know their own history. Um, and almost everybody in the town had the last name Taylor, um, and they didn't know who was related to who. Right, uh, so this document here um, was 
inspired by what they really wanted. They really wanted to have a history of how they came and a history of their family. So um, a number of um, the youth went and met with the elders and um, collected their stories. And that was put into this um, little document, which was all hand typed, hand drawn illustrations and reproduced on a Gestetner machine. This is long before photocopying and computers. So they didn't actually go to school until 1962, and they stayed during the winter and entered the school in town, which was just, you know, 10 years before our project. So really we were working with teenagers that were kind of the first generation that actually had gone to school and learned English in a regular school system. The thing that was fascinating to me was how recent that history was. George Taylor and George B. Taylor uh, left Fort Albany about 1900 and um, came down the Albany River uh, and started Hudson's Bay Post quite near Horn Payne. And they ran trap lines for the Hudson's Bay till uh, 1920 or so when they put the CN train through. And then they started to bring their furs and things into Horn Payne. And that's when they started camping along the CN tracks in the summer. And just the year before, they had moved the village from along the train tracks up onto Spruce Street and added the water pumps. So before, they carried the water from uh, springs and rivers. Uh, so it was a big deal, actually. The summer we were there, they actually had a tap on their street. And then finally, the thing was to put together the Taylor family tree, which is, is all shown here, all of the um, over uh, 40 offspring from the two Taylor, original Taylor boys. Opportunities for Youth was such an awesome program because it was undirected and it challenged young people to say, well, you know, don't just sit on your butts all summer. The world is full of options for things to do, so what do you want to do? You know, we should do that today because kids have great ideas and um, even in that short time of two months can have such impact on learning about your world and what's possible. There was a time in this fair land when the railroad did not run And the wild majestic mountains stood alone against the sun